Welcome. Imagine a marvel of engineering so grand that it connected two of the mightiest rivers in the world and united a great nation. Welcome to the story of the Grand Canal of China, one of the greatest technological feats in history. Built in ancient times, its completion was a truly extraordinary achievement. Join us as we embark on a journey through time. Exploring how the Grand Canal shaped a civilization and astonished the world. Let's start with some background on ancient China. Picture ancient China, a vast land of contrasting landscapes. The land is divided by two monumental rivers, the Yellow River called Huang He in Chinese in the north, and the Yangtze River in the south. These rivers were the lifeblood of China. They nourished fertile plains and fostered bustling cities, yet they also presented a formidable challenge. How could China bridge the gap between these two crucial regions? Along the Yellow River, merchants and farmers thrived, but faced the daunting task of transporting goods overland more than a thousand miles to the south. It was a long and difficult journey fraught with peril. The people of China dreamt of an easier way. They needed a waterway that would link these two mighty rivers. And now let's look at the early history and the Sui dynasty. Our story of the Grand Canal truly begins with a visionary emperor in the Sui dynasty who dared dream big. Although there were rudimentary canals in very early times, it was in 605 AD that Emperor Yang started an ambitious project. During his reign, he constructed a canal linking the Yellow River in the north with the Yangtze River in the south. This was an unparalleled feat of engineering. Imagine the scene. Tens of thousands of laborers, armed with simple tools, toiling day and night to carve a path through mountains, plains and valleys. The construction of the Grand Canal was a strategic masterpiece designed to facilitate the movement of grain, troops and goods. It strengthened the empire's economy and it also improved security and political unity. Development through the ages. After the Sui dynasty's initial success, the Grand Canal continued to evolve and expand under subsequent dynasties. Each added their own improvements and extensions. During the Tang Dynasty, Emperor Taizong recognized the canal's immense potential. He spearheaded further enhancements, making the canal more navigable and efficient. The Tang Dynasty's investment in the canal spurred an era of unprecedented economic growth and cultural exchange. Somewhat later in 984 AD in the Song Dynasty, the first canal lock was invented. This revolutionary invention allowed boats to travel uphill along artificial waterways. Then came the invasion of China by the Mongols and the Yuan Dynasty in 1271 AD. Under Kublai Khan, the Grand Canal was not just a means of transportation. It was a strategic asset to unify his vast empire. Under his direction, the canal was extended even further, connecting the north to Kublai's new capital, Beijing, with this extension, the Grand Canal became a crucial artery for the empire. As the centuries passed, the canal saw many enhancements during the Ming and Qing dynasties. The Grand Canal had become China's lifeline, shaping its destiny throughout the ages. Technical data and key cities. To truly grasp the grandeur of the Grand Canal, let's delve into some of its awe-inspiring technical details. Stretching over 1,100 miles, or 1,700 kilometers, the Grand Canal is the longest artificial river in the world. The canal itself includes 24 locks. It connects major rivers and traverses diverse terrains, from bustling cities to serene rural landscapes. Among the key cities that grace its path, Hangzhou stands out as a jewel in the crown of the Grand Canal. Known for its picturesque West Lake, Hangzhou became a major hub of trade and culture. Then there's Suzhou, often called the Venice of the East, renowned for its intricate network of canals, elegant gardens and silk production. Further north, the Grand Canal reaches the ancient capital of Luoyang, a city steeped in history and once a center of politics and culture. Finally, the canal's journey culminates in the modern capital, Beijing, 
a testament to the enduring legacy of this engineering marvel. Benefits and impact on wealth. The Grand Canal was an engineering triumph and a catalyst for economic prosperity and cultural exchange. By connecting the agricultural regions of the South with the political and military centers of the North, the canal made goods more affordable and accessible. The canal spurred the growth of markets and trade hubs along its route, transforming once sleepy towns into bustling cities. A prosperous China flourished as a dominant economic power in the ancient world. However, the Grand Canal's impact extended beyond mere economics. It was a conduit for cultural exchange, enabling the spread of ideas, art and innovations. As we reflect on the Grand Canal over the centuries, it's clear that the Grand Canal was more than just a waterway. It was a lifeline that sustained and enriched a civilization. Its legacy endures, a testament to the ingenuity and foresight of the ancient Chinese, who dared to dream and build on a scale that still amazes us today. Western awareness of Chinese technology. Despite its monumental impact, the Grand Canal remains a hidden gem of ancient technology. While many people marvel at Egypt's pyramids, few in the West are aware of China's achievements. The West's limited awareness of ancient China is a gap in the global understanding of history. It's time to recognize the Grand Canal as one of history's greatest feats of engineering and ingenuity. From its beginning during the Sui dynasty to modern China, the Grand Canal symbolizes human ambition and innovation. It is a testament to the vision and determination of the emperors, engineers and workers who brought it to life. This marvel of ancient engineering continues to inspire and remind us of the incredible achievements of the past Please like and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to get updates.